Chapter 3 MS Access Queries, Forms and Reports Important Points 1. Query 2. Creating a Query in Design View 3. Using the Query Wizard 4. Form 5. Creating Reports 6. Using the Report Wizard Friends, you would be surprised to know that in MS Access, we can make requests for answering our queries, performing calculations, combining data from different tables or even to add, change or delete table data. In this chapter, you will learn to make queries and many other functions in MS Access. Query A query is a request for obtaining desired results from the database. You can use a query to answer a simple question, to perform calculations, to combine data from different tables or even to add, change or delete table data. Select Query The Select Query is the simplest type of query and because of that, it is also the most commonly used one in Microsoft Access databases. It can be used to select and display data from either one table or a series of them depending on what data is required. A query is the user-determined criteria that tells the database on what criteria the selection is to be based on. After the select, query is executed. It creates a virtual table where the data can be changed but one record at a time. Action Query When we run the action query, the database undergoes a specific action depending on what was specified in the query itself. This can include things like creating new tables, deleting rows from existing ones and updating records or creating entirely new ones. Action queries are very popular in data management because they allow for many records to be changed at one time instead of only single records like in a select query. Four kinds of action queries are Append Query It takes the set results of a query and appends or adds them to an existing table. Delete Query It deletes all the records in an underlying table from the set results of a query. Make Table Query It creates a table based on the set results of a query. Update Query It allows for one or more fields in your table to be updated. Parameter Query In Microsoft Access, a parameter query works with other types of queries to get whatever results you sought. This is because when using this type of query, you are able to pass a parameter to different query, such as an action or a select query. It can either be a value or a condition and will essentially tell the other query specifically what you want it to do. It is often chosen because it allows for a dialog box where the end user can enter whatever parameter value they wish each time the query is run. The parameter query is just a modified select query. Aggregate Query a special type of query is known as an aggregate query. It can work on other queries such as selection, action or parameter, just like the parameter query does. But instead of passing a parameter to another query, it totals up the items by the selected groups. It essentially creates a summation of any selected attribute in your table. This can be further generated into statistical amounts such as averages and standard deviation, just to name a couple. Creating a query in design view. Most of the queries described may be created using a query wizard. However, the design view is also useful for creating more complex queries and for revising existing queries. 1. Activate the Create tab. 2. Click the Query Design button in the Other group. The Show Table dialog box appears. 3. Activate the Tables tab if query is based on tables. 
Activate the Queries tab. If your query is based on queries or activate the both tab if you want to base your query on both tables and queries. 4. Click to choose the table or query on which you want to base your query. 5. Click Add. 6. Click to choose the next table or query on which you want to base your query. 7. Continue clicking tables or queries until you have all the tables and queries you plan to use. Adding fields to your query. Double click on the name of the field you wish to add your query. The name of the field will appear in the next available column. Repeat the above steps until you have added all desired fields for your query. Locate the results group of the design ribbon. Click on the button labeled Run. The results of your query will appear in a datasheet view. Saving a query 1. To save a query, click the Save button in the Quick Access toolbar or select Save from the Office button. 2. The Save As dialog box appears. Type the query name and click OK.